tell me what they want with my children. Yeah? Do they want? They've removed their security. Now I hear they want to remove their, their personal weapons. So what? Are they wanting to do that because they are planning something? And if they are planning something, yeah, my only plea, don't plan against my mother, don't plan against my children, plan for me. If it is me you want. Leave them alone. What do they have to do with anything? Yeah? How many people are licensed to hold weapons in this country? Yeah? Did they not follow the right procedure? Tell us. Tell the world. If, 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 they have, if it's a question of illegal weapons, <laughs> then tell the world, yeah, these people have illegal weapons. Right? But if they are licensed weapons, how many people in Kenya have uh, licensed weapons? Even foreigners. Uh, all right? See, they followed the procedure. Right? See, you withdrew their security. So they're not supposed to defend themselves. Uh, a whole minister of government staying there that is going to do I don't know what in front of my mother's house. I have... Uh, people who have been guarding my mother for the last almost 50 years withdrawn at night I have now a situation where my son's home is being raided for things that I don't understand so I ask myself what does this government want All right? have you seen me in any of those events have you seen me talk about any of those events yeah now if you say that because of my association with Raila, am I not supposed to talk to my friends? Is that a crime in Kenya today? Yeah? Is that a crime? Maybe you should tell me. If it's a crime, maybe you should say, oh, it is a crime to associate with this individual. With this. I thought the only crime was to associate with terrorists. Uhuru was categorical this evening that his silence does not mean submission. The fact that I've been silent doesn't mean I'm scared. Come for me. Why do, what, what, what does my mother have to do with anything? What does uh, my children have to do with anything? Kama shidehenu ni mimi, I'm here. Right? Yeah? They know where I am 24-7. Right? Why, why all this? Intimidate a 90-year-old woman. Intimidate children. Right? If it is me you want, what, come and tell us what you want. He says that he is ready to face anyone keen on settling scores with him but his family should be left alone and as you know i have been quiet but being quiet does not mean i will not defend my family i will defend my family right and i will defend it to the end all right i defended kenya and i did my best for this country okay you may not think or whoever has that opinion that opinion that opinion that is an opinion but according to me, I did the best I could do for my country. All right? And I handed over when my time was finished. And I will now do the best that I can do to defend my family. A few years Uhuru Kenyatta on Friday dared his successor, President William Luto, to face him head on, daring the head of state to arrest him if he had broken any law. While vowing that he would defend his family, which is under constant attack, to the end, he insisted that he had nothing to hide or fear. Mr. Kenyatta, who has maintained silence even in the face of the direct and indirect attacks and accusations by President Ruto and his government, says he has not spoken directly to his former deputy, whom he said had unleashed state machinery to intimidate him and his family. While protesting against a raid by security agents on his eldest son, Jomo's home in Kalin, Mr. Kenyatta asked President Ruto to stop going to his family and insisted to face him directly. Mr. Kenyatta said dozens of police officers raided the residence of his son in Subalas and Prados with South Sudanese number plates. As a pointer to the strained relations with his successor, Mr. Kenyatta, when asked whether he had spoken to President Bruto, responded, You have a tete a tete with somebody who wants to talk with you.
President Ruto has not shown any in indication that he wants to talk to me. As a retired person, why should I go look for somebody who does not want to talk to me? He also mentioned an incident this week where the security of his mother, Kenya's founding first lady mama Ngina Kenyatta was withdrawn from her Gatundu and Muthaiga homes. He said the move was part of a pretty scheme by Mr. Ruto's government to intimidate him. The fact that I am silent does not mean that I am scared. Come for me. What does my mother have to do with anything? What has my children got to do with anything? You know where I am all the time. Come for me, he told a journalist outside his son's gate. Mr. Kenyatta insisted that the targeted attacks against his 90-year-old mother will be met by stiff resistance. As president, I defended Kenya to the best of my ability. Now, as a retired man, I will defend my family to the very end, said Mr. Kenyatta. He added that the coordinated attacks against him should stop. You withdraw my 90-year-old mother's security at night? You raid my son's home claiming to be from the police and not identifying yourself. And now you threaten to withdraw the firearm licenses of my family members. Why all this? Do not intimidate my mother or my children. You know where I am. My Mr. Kenyatta said. He went on. How do you want me, them to protect themselves? Is it a crime to have a licensed firearm? No. A lot of people have them, even foreigners along, as long as they meet the criteria. Thank you so much for watching.